and now we've got some uh, clear stretch of road perfect for me to showcase to you how awesome this car is hello hello welcome to another video my name is george and today i'm going to be driving the new bmw m2 g87 with the m performance package first of all let me just go for a little walk around this car because in this spec it's actually gorgeous you know this car has been a bit controversial some people like it some people hate it but personally especially in this spec it's quite cool i mean look at the diffuser with the quad exhaust here and a v-shape this is the m performance exhaust it looks honestly it looks tremendous it looks different it looks aggressive this angle is probably my favorite angle look at it yeah this is a very very aggressive car especially in this color uh, it's really black and the black wheels and the carbon fiber which is also black uh, i can't get enough of it not gonna lie you got the canards on the sides the vent scoops the splitter which is made out of carbon you got all the bits and bobs on the car it's very tasteful this one it's got all the good bits on it and none of the bad bits because you can also spec it with some side skirts some weird sort of stick on canards which i personally don't even like and i don't know if anybody likes but this this is a perfect perfect spec for this car you know the black color makes it look that much more aggressive all the carbon bits that we i mean you step back look at that thing <laughs> with the wide tires on the on each side 20 inches of course 285 millimeters of rubber in the, in the back and I believe 19 inches and 275 yes millimeters in the front so it's got a lot of rubber this is a rear wheel drive so you will need all that rubber because it's pushing 450 to 60 horsepower is the same uh, s58 engine that you can find in the m3 m4 and of course m2 and all the other um, m cars like the x34 um, m and yeah it's a, it's a power plant honestly and for a car um, this size and you know it's not the lightest thing in the world but it's also not the heaviest thing coming at around 1750 ish um, kilos it's very hard to find information about the weight of the car uh, nowadays for some reason but i believe it's around 1750 kilos and it's a absolute weapon honestly i love it so let me just uh step inside for a little bit show you the uh state of the interior because it's pretty good and this is what we are welcomed with we've got m um, accents on the doors those light up uh, at night obviously the m2 uh, door seal black don't mind the uh dirt <laughs> been driving it for a few days the uh, m uh, colored seats these are the standard seats not the uh, carbon pack because the carbon pack i believe is all over seven thousand pounds as an option and for some reason uh, not many um, dealers or manufacturer, well, manufacturer, not many dealers uh, spec them. But uh, I mean, I've sat in them in the carbon buckets with the hump in the middle and everything. They're super nice, but for long journeys, they're probably a pain. Um, so I prefer these as I've had this car for a number of days doing a bunch of miles. So this is more than good. <laughs> so yeah, back seats, obviously you go back seats. As you can see, <laughs> you got carbon uh, trim. Let me step inside. As you can see, you got carbon trim here. The M stitching, well, embossed uh, logo on the shifter, carbon on the wheel. You got the dual um, screen uh, setup here with all the bits and bobs. And of course, the most annoying feature of uh, modern cars is the warning for your speed limits and lane departure warning almost every uh, new car has this so every time you get inside of one of these cars you have to turn it off this is the world that we currently live in so it is what it is it's not a bmw problem it's a everybody problem and um yeah i mean that is about it so let me set up my microphones and i will catch you guys in a second so you can hear and see how this behemoth drives all right so we are now on the roll with the g87 the m2 uh what a machine this is 
and what a better way to uh, start the drive than by putting in M2, dropping down a couple of gears. And putting my foot down. I mean, this machine is just... Ah, what a beauty. What a machine this is. The turbo spools, the exhaust uh, burbles. And to think this is a uh, new car, you know, it's got all the filters, all the regulations, and they still managed to make this sound good. God. What a machine. So, yes, this car is the uh, Baby M, as the most would call it. The uh, cheapest, cheapest, smallest, smallest <laughs> M2 there is. Uh, well, M car there is. It's the uh, Coupe, which is pretty much derived from the E46 era, because that was the only car uh, which sort of fit the criteria of a small, nimble, um, M car and then the M3 came out uh, E92 uh, F80 G80 now and those are no longer small cars and granted neither is this one however this has somewhat the proportions of the um, E46 and you could call it a small nimble sports car because that's how BMW sort of planned it <laughs> And um, yeah, it, it, it delivers, you know, it really does deliver. Right now, I am uh, in traffic, as you can uh, see ahead of me. So I can't really do uh, much in terms of dynamic driving. However, it will clear up in a second. I can assure you uh, of that. And then we can actually um, take this baby for a spin. Until that happens though, it's uh, probably worth talking about how this car delivers the power and how this car actually handles because honestly it sort of blew my mind given obviously it's not the lightest thing in the world and the smallest thing in the world but the way it drives it's pretty mind-bending I'm not gonna lie to you I was uh, following my uh, friend who has a um, F87 um, M2 competition and we all know that car is peak performance peak BMW sort of performance uh, anybody can attest to it you know it's it's a very 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 good car that and me behind him in this I had zero troubles keeping up and not only keeping up I felt like I had more it might be the tires because this is wrapped in um, PS4S's all over it might be uh, the power which has slightly more power but I don't know what it is, the suspension geometry, the, the way the car is uh, built in terms of dynamic. It's just good. It's good. It's very good. And I can assure you that it's fun to drive, as you'll see. God. <laughs> what a machine! <laughs> I'm loving every second of this. And it does sound good. I mean, you can hear the turbo spool. Let's see if I can uh, show that to you guys. There you go. And the exhaust, the rumbles. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds real good. get enough of this car and now we've got some uh, clear stretch of road 
perfect for me to showcase to you how awesome this car is. Breaking turn. It's honestly phenomenal. Heartbreak and pivot. Honestly, for B roads, this thing is unreal, and I'm sure it's just as good on the track. For your local B road, this thing is phenomenal. What a machine, what a machine. I can't describe to you how good this feels to drive. It's so planted in the corners. It feels like it's on rails. Quite literally, the only way I can describe this is on rails. It feels agile, sharp, so good. The only downside about this car is the um, ZFA gearbox and I'm and that's not to say the ZFA is a bad gearbox no 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 ZFA it's a tremendous gearbox and that's the problem <laughs> that is the problem because you kind of miss the drama from the F series from the M2 competition in the previous era that had some sort of drama behind the gearbox the downshifts were violent the upshifts were violent this they're just very very smooth and sure it's probably similar to something like a PDK from um, from Porsche. Not to compare an automatic to a dual clutch transmission. However, it's probably similar in terms of smoothness and sharpness. Whereas the uh, DCT from previous um, from the previous M cars were just more violent, more aggressive. You know, you would you would uh, slap it in um, in gear or downshift, upshift, whatever, and you have a little jolt, a little something. This does jolt and everything but it's programmed it's programmed to make that uh, jolt and you can kind of feel the fact that it's not natural however it's a phenomenal gearbox the daily you know it's smooth in traffic it's smooth in the city it's just good so i can't complain too much about it because i i understand why bmw chose to go with the um, zfa and pretty much all their cars now it's just good and it does everything really well so i won't complain too much i'll just let you guys hear this uh oh from there's this nobody behind me there's your second gear uh, about 30 miles an hour and foot to the floor what a machine the way this picks up speed is honestly illegal <laughs> because this does get you up to the speed limit and way beyond that very quickly if you're not careful it's a tremendous piece of kit honestly a tremendous piece of kit downshift downshift third gear Ooh, second gear and Water machine. So you may wonder what is my verdict as a car guy? Well, honestly, this car has blown my expectations out of the water. Um, it's I can't really complain about anything about it. You know, on paper, sure it's heavier, 
Um, it's got a lot of power, it's rear wheel drive, so you might think it's squirrely and unwieldy, but it isn't. It's by far the best M car currently available, besides probably the M4 CSL, but obviously I didn't get to drive that and I'm sure it's phenomenal. But up until then, this is by far the best M car that I've driven to date. So take it from me uh, if you want to buy one of these or if you're considering to go ahead drive one um, see if you like it for yourself and yeah I'm sure you will because it grips very well it drives very well and the power it's of biblical proportions it's just a weapon and you can also daily it because if you put everything in comfort and efficient you can just Cruise along, it's got a ZFA gearbox, go do your shopping, whatever, it's got enough boot space, all that jazz, carry your friends if you want to go back seat, so whatever, do whatever you want, but for a performance car, this is unreal. So with that guys, I'll catch you in the next one, and I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Peace.